by Charles Barkley, had a triple-double, 30 points, 15 rebounds, 11 assists, a desperation three by Danny Ainge of the Sacramento Kings did not fall. Jim Lynham's team came away as the winners. Sixers have lost 10 straight here at Arco since then. Philadelphia with Charles Barkley, Hersey Hawkins, Maurice Cheeks, who's now an assistant coach under Larry Brown. Sacramento have Kenny Smith, Vinny Del Negro, and as you saw, Danny A. Here's Iverson. Allen Iverson with 40 points. And the Kings now lead 89-84. Stars win games. And that's what Allen Iverson is. He's a star, and he's trying to pull his team out of a tough battle here right now with the Kings, who are fighting back. Stoyan against four. For Stoyakovic, it's a two-point sixer lead. They've led by as many as 18. Shot clock at five. Here's the key. It is Sacramento in possession. Down by two. Six minutes to go in the fourth. Jackson. And McKee with the rebound. What a frenetic pace. We still have almost six minutes to go in this game. Just ten days ago at home against Utah, the 76ers had a 16-point lead and lost the game. That's the game that saw Iverson come over the season high at 45. Sixers still in possession, but only two on the shot clock. play though two seconds to go you know that the Sixers have worked on this in practice Larry Brown did not have to call a timeout executed to perfection 91 87 Philadelphia 520 remaining on the fourth Stoyakovich who has had the hot hand played by Lynch shoots over He didn't have to put it on the floor. He created space just by moving the ball around, stepped back, and buried a three. Sixers by just one. Stoyakovic, 6 of 10 from downtown. They are standing here at Arco. McKee with a hard driving move. What a play. And the foul. The poise of the Philadelphia 76ers. We talked before, Marv, about how they feel very confident playing in close games, especially on the road because they're a good defensive team and they feel they can find a way to score. Now we see Aaron McKee slashing in the lane, gets the foul, the opportunity for the three-point play. So tightly basket by both McKee and Lynch to keep the Sixers in the lead. Aaron McKee moving closer to a triple-double. 94-90. Oh, Barry beating the Sixers down the court. Allen Iverson fell asleep there because he got to cover Barry because McKee was shooting the free throw. 94-92, Philadelphia four and a half remaining in the fourth. Bobby Jackson all over. Allen Iverson. Shot clock down to two. Down Yes! <laughs> 42 points for Iverson. 96-92. He who, he who blinks first loses today, Mark. Rejected. And last touch by the six. Not able to hit the drive. Hill with the rebound. Kevin Ali has checked back in to provide a rest for Aaron McKee. Stays on the floor with Iverson and Ali, so they go three yards set. Along with Ratliff and Hill. Shot clock at three. It's down to two. Ratliff. And 24 second violation. 29 11 coming here on the fourth. On fire from downtown. And he's just so confident, Marv, as he catches and shoots the basketball, creates space, movement without the ball, no hesitation at all, shooting the ball over George Lynch. 
the Kings are within four. The Marv right now with 3.31 to go. They've got to do it with their defense. They cannot continue to change baskets. Philadelphia's come up with timely hoops to keep in the lead. The Kings try to come back from an 18-point deficit. They came back after being 24 down back on December the 10th against Miami here at Arco. They trail here by four, 3.20 remaining in the fourth quarter. Weber over Radley. Good box out by Ali. Larry Brown staying with the three guards. He has Ali working at the point along with Iverson and McKee. There's Ali Brown to his left coming up short. Weber with the save. Jackson checking the floor. Just under three to go in this fourth quarter. Here's Powell beating Hill. Scott Powell has improved so much. Sacramento had it within one. Iverson with the shot clock at five. Has to give it up. Here's Ali with one on the 24. Again, not over the hook. Kevin Ali with a couple of opportunities. And now the Kings back in possession down by two. Well, that's what Sacramento wants. They want Ali to take the shots. Weber. Chris Weber has tied the game at 96. Mark with Ollie on the floor, his man can gamble. So watch John Berry be the help guy to force them to get the ball to Ollie to make him shoot it. A minute 50 to go in the fourth. This crowd has been on its feet throughout the fourth quarter. The game tied at 96. McKee. Ratliff able to pull it down, and a foul is called. So the next foul will put Sacramento over the limit. The same for Philadelphia. Iverson on the point. Yes! Allen Iverson has 44, and the Sixers lead by two with a minute and 25 to go in the fourth. Jackson off the pick. Weber. Way off. I don't think that's the shot that they wanted at that time, Mark. Weber can get a better one than that. Coming up on one minute left in the fourth. Iverson played by Johnson. Oh, yeah. with the tip, and a loose ball foul has been called against the Sixers. They are now over the limit. So the Kings will shoot two. Now the call is on Tyrone Hill. That's his third. And Scott Heller at the line. He is two for two at the free throw line. A 78% shooter. Just 58 and 8 10 seconds remaining in what has been a sensational game. You can see how important Scott Pollard is to this team. He had missed games with the ankle injury. He's the best post defender they have. And you see him play the majority of the fourth quarters instead of Vladi. So they have he and Weber out there together. It gives them a better defensive front line. Pollard has a chance to tie the game if he does. Sixers do have a full timeout in a 20. Sacramento with two out of 20. 45 seconds to go on the fourth. Shot clock at seven. Let's now over the hook. Jackson with the rebound. Kings with a chance to take the lead. Here's Barry for three. Jackson keeps it alive. There's a five-second differential between the shot clock and the game clock, and the Kings want to talk it over. The Kings of the Sixers making their way back out of the court. Game tied at 98. 23 seconds remaining of the fourth. 18 on the shot clock for Sacramento. You can see when you're down 16 going into the fourth quarter, you have to defend to get back in the game. They've done that. Philly's only shot 35%. You got to get the ball. That's over and back. 
Should have been a backcourt violation. Was there any? The ball was touched in the contact made. I didn't, I didn't see any. Now you can throw the ball in the backcourt, but they threw it in the front court and then it went into the backcourt. Out of four on the shot clock. Here's Weber. Jackson with the tip. And the Sixers rebound. Calling for time. Tip it and go into the backcourt. The team throwing the ball inbounds has possession of the ball. Obviously, right? I, I, I don't follow that one. I mean, the Sixers were upset. However, 2.7 remaining. Tony Kukoc has checked back in. Game tied at 98. Kukoc will inbound. Iverson. Iverson with the shot. And we go to overtime. It's 29, as does Chris Weber. 76ers controlling the tip. Fan of defense from the crowd is right left. And the Sixers have a two-point lead. See, I think that's a big basket because psychologically, Sa Sacramento's played uphill the whole game. They've tied it, but they've never had the lead. Weber, who despite the flu, has gone most of the way. 44 minutes for Chris Weber. Oh, nice play as Hill is able to jump out into the passing lane. Now can Sacramento get that energy back? They, they had the energy at the end, and the Sixers fight him off. Iverson played by Jackson. Rick Adelman staying with Jackson rather than Jason Williams. Hey, hey. And then Iverson has continued to score, but it's been a little bit more difficult against Jackson. Well, he's tougher. He's got more strength, and he can get up and bang him. A minute gone by in the overtime. Hey. Nice move by Jackson. And the game is tied at 100. The big man did not show up on that screen roll. What you do with your Bobby Jackson, you keep your dribble until somebody stops you. Nobody did. Eight points for Jackson. A minute and a half gone by in the five-minute overtime. Iverson. Yes. Allen Iverson now with a season high. That's 46 points for Iverson. And we'd like to welcome those of you who have been watching the New York Knicks and the Minnesota Timberwolves. Here in Sacramento, Marv Albert, Doug Collins, Jim Gray, two-point lead for the 76ers. We're in overtime, coming up on three minutes to go in the overtime session. Earlier, the Sixers led by as many as 18. The Kings coming roaring back in the second half. Here's Lynch, fouled by overall top record. They've won three in a row, six of the last seven. They've won nine straight at home. 76ers, six straight wins on the road. Stoyakovic, the three, way off. Stoyakovic has been hot from downtown and did it in the fourth quarter. Overall, six of ten from three-point land. Yeah, I think Sacramento's got into a half-court game right now. They got back into the game with a quick tempo. Out of two and a half for the overtime. Iverson. Shot clock at three. Here's Lynch. And a foul. The ball up the floor, getting into a half-court game. When they do that, they get stagnant, and they've struggled here in overtime. Bobby Jackson handling against Allen Iverson. Scott Potter setting the pick. Weber. Here's Weber. Oh, well, he's, he's had a force shots. Philadelphia's defense uh, not giving much to the game. So Theo Ratliff, the best shot blocker in the NBA, calls him to alter that shot. Six is not a chance to go up six or seven with three. Iverson on the recovery. Rebound Weber. They need a bucket on this possession. 140 left in the OT, and Iverson is called for the reach-in foul. That's only his second. Ooh talking about the way he looked in the, uh, the pre-game warm-ups. It's amazing that he's played uh, almost the entire game. He sat only out only four minutes. Foul is called on the Sixers. It's on Ratliff, his his third, and Stoyakovich five of six from the line. In the overtime have really hurt the Sixers. It's a two-point game right now. Three put Sacramento in the lead. Those are big misses. Career high 31 points for Stoyakovich. Philadelphia by two, 120 left. In the overtime. Hill. Rebound. Pollard. One oh four, one oh two. The Sixers with the lead as we come up on a minute left in OT. Pollard will swing it out. 
Stoyakovic with Lynch chest to chest. Out of five on the shot clock. And the foul on it maybe being the answer. The Sixers have led all the way. Kings have never led. They're at 104 apiece. Iverson. And McKee shoots the three and hits. Aaron McKee from deep in the corner. The Sixers lead 107 to 1 Ulster backcourt combination. Aaron McKee, his first ever triple double. Look at the numbers for Allen Iverson. He is one rebound and one assist away from his first ever triple double. Wait. What Sacramento wants to do right now, Marv, they've got a chance to go for a two-for-one. So you want to get a quick possession to Philadelphia. You don't want to foul. Jackson able to take it to the hook. Rebounded by Lynch, and the foul is given. Five seconds to go. The next foul puts the Kings over the limit. It's a six-second differential between the game clock and the shot clock. Iverson using the clock. 3.6er lead. Down to five on the 24. And McKee shoots it. Barry with the rebound. Final seconds. Need the three to tie. Here it is. Short. It's all over. The Philadelphia 76ers, after leading by as many as 18, saw the Sacramento Kings come from behind, send it to overtime, and then the Sixers resilient enough in the OT to take the lead, and they come away with a terrific road win. In fact, for the Sixers, it's seven straight wins on the road. For the Kings, the nine-game win streak at home is over, and the Sixers now have the best record of the NBA at 21-8. and eight. Let's go to Jim Gray and Allen Iverson. All right, thank you very much, Marv. Allen, 46 points today. How did you guys manage to regroup after losing that 17-point lead I in mean, the fourth quarter in overtime? At halftime, we already talked about it. We knew that they was going to make another run. You know, they made a run towards halftime. We knew they, they were going to... Um, keep coming at us. That's why they got the best record in the league, and they have it in the West Coast, where it's really tough. So we knew they were going to keep playing. They got some great players on their team, led by Chris Webber. But um, we just kept fighting, you know. We kept fighting, and we got it done. Your seventh straight road victory. Why are the Sixers so comfortable on the road? It's not really that. We just understand that we got to go on the road and get wins. You know, it's great to play at home, but the NBA is, you know, is a little bit more than that. You got to go play in tough crowds like this, and, you know, it just prepares for bigger things. You're ready for New Year's Eve, I'm sure. Happy New Year. Definitely. I want to say Happy New Year to Tawana, my kids, Deuce, Tiara, my mom, everybody. I love you all. I'm coming home, baby. All right.